morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Are you really drinking coffee right now? Wait, what even is that? Oh, nothing. Just a pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin' Donuts. What does it taste like? Did I not just tell you? It tastes like pumpkin spice. Okay, but what does pumpkin spice taste like? I don't know. Pumpkin? Have you ever even had a pumpkin? No. Well, if this is an actual pumpkin, what is it? I'll tell you in a sec, but first, let's see what's going down on at news. Today, Hotel Rwanda hero Paul Rusenbagina was found guilty of being part of a rebel group responsible for terrorist attacks by a Rwandan court. The case has been high profile since his arrest last year on arrival from Dubai after what he is describing as a kidnapping from Rwandan authorities. Rusen Bagina emerged as an eminent critic of Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, who's based in the United States. He's denied all charges while his supporters have called the trial proof of Kagame's remorseless treatment of political opponents. In other news, in New Zealand, two supposed gang members were pulled over. When the police searched the car and found a stash of KFC, the two were arrested for entering one of New Zealand's biggest cities while under lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic. From the photos from police, they found three buckets of chicken, 10 cups of coleslaw, a large serving of fries, and numerous other bags full with KFC items. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The ESM Spartan Marching Band performed an excellent show this past Saturday at CNS. The band performed with energy and focus and was able to take first place in the small school one class for the second straight week. It was awesome seeing those hardworking students perform for so many fans yet again. If you didn't get the chance to watch last Saturday's show, you should consider going to Baldwinsville High School this Saturday. Go Spartans! Interested in playing trivia? Want to join a club here at ESM? Just want to hang out with the cool kids after school? Come see what the, come see what the buzz is all about. The ESM Masterminds team meets in GO4 every day Tuesday after school at 320 to 4 o'clock. Come play some trivia and see if you have what it takes to join either the JV or the varsity squad in 2021. There will be a girls basketball meeting in room D10 Tuesday at 3.30. Wow, wasn't that interesting. No, come on, Melissa. I'm curious. What is pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice is an American spice mix commonly used as an ingredient in pumpkin pie. Can it also be used in drinks? Yes, it actually can be used in drinks. Pumpkin spice comes from cooked squash and spice mixtures that are commonly that are cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, clover, or allspice. So why is pumpkin spice so popular during this time of year? Well, when I think of pumpkin spice, I think of getting all cozied up under a million blankets and watching a scary movie. Speaking of blankets, is it going to be cold today? I'm not sure. Let's go check the weather. Today it will be breezy and warm with a high of 78 and a low of 66. Tomorrow there will be a chance of showers with a high of 77 and a low of 65. Uh, Thursday there will be showers and storms with a high of 76 and a low of 56. And I'm Paige with your weather. All this pumpkin spice talk is making me hungry. It's funny you say that because I actually have some pumpkin spice donut holes. Yeah, it is funny you say that because I also have some pumpkin spice donut holes. And conveniently, there's our friend Ellie. Hey Ellie, want to try some pumpkin spice donut holes? Sure, I'll try them. Yeah, to see whose is better. One of these are homemade and one of these are from Dunkin Donuts. I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so I th I'll try them, sure. Thanks guys. Oh yeah, let's see what happened at the game.
The tennis team beat JD yesterday for the first time in 20 years with a score of 4-3. to three. Winning for singles was Anna Bird, the doubles team of Angelina Baxter and Rhiannon Axman, Tierra Bauer and Bella Sylvester, and Presley DiGiulio and Amelia Cooper all won as well. The field hockey team lost to Auburn 2-1. to one. The only goal for the Spartans was scored by Jenna Orlando. Maura Live and Molly Comstock had a combined 10 saves in the loss. The Green Bay Packers beat the Detroit Lions 35-17. to Quarterback and reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers threw four touchdowns and 255 yards, and running back Aaron Jones had four total touchdowns. Girls Varsity Soccer has an away game against Fulton at 6.30. Boys Varsity Soccer plays Fulton at 6.30. Boys Volleyball has, an, has a game at Oswego at 6.30. And I'm Ryan with your sports. Okay, Ellie, try mine first. Wow, that's really good. Are these from Dunkin' Donuts? I don't know, Ellie. They might be. Now try mine. That's really good, too. Are these from Dunkin' Donuts? You tell us. I think this one's from Dunkin' Donuts. It has that flavor that's just so good. Nope, these are homemade. Those are from Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Well, thank you, Ellie, for being our tester. Have an amazing day. Yeah, get out of here. Anyways, that's our time for today. I'm Maddie Wood. And I'm Melissa Malone. And, and we, along with everyone else at Spartan, Spartan News, wish you a fantastic, fantastic Tuesday. Tuesday.